Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys! This is Vaughn, and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 2 Ugly Gardening Survival Challenge. <laughs> we are watching Little Lamp jump rope because he is a bit, a bit tubby. He's just about, oh there's the puppy. Hi puppy, just chilling. Oh, you got so close and then you stopped. Can we make you continue jumping rope? Because you're so close to being fit. Do little kids actually get fit? I mean, I guess they must. If his little meter rises above that line, he's okay. He's just like, nope. He must not be very happy. He's a little hungry and he's little. He needs a little shower. Let's take a shower. So last episode we did a little bit of enlarging of the house. Charles is just sitting there. What are you doing over there, Charles? <laughs> you're just sitting in your couch. You're like, this couch sucks. Why don't you, uh, why don't you study some cleaning? What do you still lack on? Your cleaning still is lacking. Your charisma is definitely lacking. Whatever. You're gonna die soon. I'm not gonna worry. Okay, kid is over there showering. Mom is sleeping there. Other mom is sleeping there. Interesting. And there she is. She's like, <laughs> she's so sexy. Look how sexy she is. What is she doing? That was too funny. She must have been trying to seduce him or something. Uh, she is like a romance sim, so that would make sense. Why don't you make some dinner? Or get leftovers. That works fine to you. So somebody asked uh, why he didn't have any homework last episode, and I think that's because I probably have some mod installed somewhere that stops it. I don't remember which one or why, but I'm going to guess that that's what's going on there, so I apologize for that. He had his initial homework because he did learn... Uh, he did, oops, that's not the button I wanted to push. He did learn to study from Charles, but I think after you learn that, or after he brings home like the first two or three, I've got some mod that stops them from bringing more in. So I think that's what happened there. I'm not sure. Okay, look, she's awake. Fantastic. She's hungry. Great. You can grab a plate. Oh, look, you're awake too. Everybody's awake. It's wonderful. Take a shower. Let's turn that off. You know what? You probably should go and then hmm, I don't know where that came from uh, let's mourn your your parents because if you don't then oh no and then we need a garden uh, if you don't mourn your parents and they're gonna start haunting and being a bunch of jerks now somebody suggested too that we could build a second story and the, the ghosts won't go upstairs I don't know if that's true or not but I'm not I'm not ready to build a second story yet uh, they have a lot of money but they don't have I don't think that much money so, Eureka! The nuances of cleaning skill. The nuances of cleaning skill are suddenly much clearer to me. Okay, she's gonna fish. She's gonna pee. She's gonna garden. Now he's getting hungry, so why don't you stop reading? Uh, is there a bowl left for you? Yes, there is. Grab a plate. Now, all of this super healthy, sparkly food makes them all fat in the end, but I suppose it don't matter. Oh, is the bus here? Is that why we just suddenly slowed down? Indeed it is. Oh! Poor baby! I didn't realize he was so tired, and now he's gonna go to school with, like, super low energy. That sucks. But good for you, I guess, getting up and going? <laughs> Poor kid. Um, she's mourning. That's good. Okay, now you're done mourning. Put away the leftovers. And she's tired, so I guess we could let her go to bed. And you're out here gardening, so you're doing fine. I think you should be able to handle all of this by yourself just a little bit of weeding these eggplants will mature pretty soon I think but they're all thriving so we should be okay puppies awake I have not put food in this puppy's bowl in a while but I guess that they are autonomous uh, autonomously doing it I don't know how about you oh you're showering cool why don't we teach the pu oh, the dog is sleeping dog is getting pretty old dog is getting pretty old dog becomes an elder in one day uh, dog is dirty. Ooh, let's let's bathe the dotty. Do dotty? Let's wash Chip. Just bathe the dog, and then what commands does Chip know? Required for job. <laughs> doesn't have a job. Uh, let's see here. Scary thing. Learn behaviors. Well, those are kind of interesting. Um, here. No, no. Where does it say what commands you know? Did you just age up? Lamp, lamp join the back. That's adorable. Oh, here we go. Learn commands. Come here. 
play dead, roll over, shake, and stay. Oh, yep, so he just aged up. Oh, I didn't... This dog is starting to show his age. Perhaps it's time to settle down and enjoy some lazy days. Now, does she, he, it look better, different? A little gray in the muzzle? Wait, I can't see with this plant in my face. You still look pretty, pretty good for an old dog. Wait, uh, let's give you some love. Let's give you some treats because it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Get your groove on. There you go. Good food for you. And let's teach you the command sit up and speak. So another thing that uh, somebody recently said to me, uh, they were teaching me controls on the game. And they said that you can use, it looks like, uh, I think they said the one, two, and three key to pause and, and speed up the game. So let's see. One, yeah two, three. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the problem with this is that I play left-handed. So, uh, what, what's, why are we lagging suddenly? What's going on? Oh, oh, the coat is finally changing. It looks like maybe, I don't know. Let's see. I don't know why, why did we just lag? What just happened? I feel like something must've just happened, but I didn't see. Oh, it's the, is it the penguin? Hey Penny, is Spoon available to talk now? The penguin just appeared, walking very strangely. Why are you why you walk so strangely, Mr. Penguin? That is kind of creepy looking, dude. What are you what on earth are you doing, man? Really? What Are you dancing with the butterflies? <laughs> what is going on? I don't understand. You just came over here, did a little dance, now you gotta walk off. I can't interact. Wait, can I interact with him? Shoe and pet. Okay, I don't know what just happened there, but <laughs> it's interesting. But yeah, so I play left handed, so uh, I think what is intended is that you use your mouse with your right hand, and then you can just rest your, ha your left hand on the keyboard. But in order to do that the way that that is, I. Uh, I would have my left hand on the mouse, and then I would have my right hand stretched completely across myself and the keyboard, and, oh, she got sunburn, that's what, she got heat stroke, that's what happened. Okay. Uh, which is not, it's not impossible, but it's not super comfortable, and I'm, I'm sure that it drives you guys nuts that, uh, I'm, I, I go down here to pause the game, and it sometimes takes me a couple seconds to click the right spot, but that's just how I'm used to playing. Does uh, it's recess time and Lamp goes out to play with the other kids when he does something incredible. He wins all the marbles with one fell flick of his finger. Should he take them all or distribute them evenly among the other students? Once again, my die is not on my desk. Where? Oh, here it is. Uh, I guess it is on my desk. It was just under a piece of paper. Uh, so let's roll this and it's actually that 20 sided die again. <laughs> so, uh, even, take them all, uh, distribute them. And if it's over 15, we'll ignore it. We got a 12, so that's even. Let's take them all. Lep's not going to dilute this moment of excellent, this most excellent of victories by giving away his winnings. He begins to pocket the marbles only to realize racist is over and needs to get back inside. As Lamp runs inside, his pockets rip and the marbles spill all over the place. The rest of the school laughs at Lamp's misfortune and he loses some game enthusiasm. I feel like this just happened to him. You would think that he would learn, but apparently he is a greedy little boy and wants to keep his marbles. So I wonder if I could re... Is there a... Oh, these work too! Swear! Okay, so the number pad works. Uh, the, the right hand number pad. Oh, look. S learn sit up. Great. Uh, so we could potentially do that. That's kind of neat. I don't know if I will remember to do that, but that's definitely a nice, easy new command to know. Why don't you help tending there? Old puppy never got cleaned? What happened here? How come puppy's still dirty? Uh, why don't we take him for a walk? Are you... Oh, you're sleeping. Let's take for a walk. You take for a walk. What do you... Oh, you're... Wait, wait. I remember how to play. Uh, and you are, like, hot. Uh, how do you... I remember lemonade. You can use lemonade to... to take down heat stroke is there anything else you can do I don't think of taking a bath maybe a shower 
I don't know if taking a shower would help or not, actually. That might make it worse. Because it's hot, right? But maybe we can assume it's a cold shower. Are we gonna, is the game going to freeze up again when she gets healthy? That was some pretty pink skin. Hmm. I don't remember. Oh, well, that's not going to help. That's just going to make you hot and bothered. Yeah, I know you want to go woohoo. Why don't you just relax and take a break? You, yeah, take Chip for a walk, and then you need to bathe him because he is stinky dinky. Stinky dinky. Uh, you can fill his bowl. Yeah, he's he's stinky and he's got a pee and he's super tired. Poor poor old boy. I guess because he's an old dog now, his uh, all of his stuff is gonna start. You know how old people not old people but old Sims, their 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 bladders deplete quickly and stuff. So that might be what's happening to him too. Let's clean his little house while he's gone. At least that's he can have a nice clean bed to sleep in. Right, he's his pee is done. So we're gonna let him sleep and then when he. When he wakes up, I guess we'll let him... We need to get rid of this shower head, man. When he gets back, we'll let him sleep and then we'll shower when he wakes up. Now, I also wanted... I talked about building a foyer and somebody had a cool, uh, interesting idea of connecting the house to the greenhouse. I don't know if that's necessary. The thing that kind of would suck is that, I guess... See, in order to have a door, you lose that plot of ground. And, like, the ladybug things, you lose that plot of ground, too. So, it's not a big deal, but I'm not quite sure. Can we just put these plants down here? Let's see. Let's move the plants over here. We could put... See, the foyer would have to pretty much be here. And it's kind of weird to have a foyer go into a kitchen. Like, I feel like I need to redesign the entire house. Um, hmm. Let's just lay out some some temporary thinking here. A little foyer like this. Wait, we're gonna have to move that plant. In fact, these plants should be out front, technically. Okay, and then... So I don't know that this is what we're going to do. But technically, you could do that. I could put an archway here. And I could turn this bathroom into a hall. It's a two by two bathroom, and that's their bedroom right there. Or I could put a hall. Hmm. We could just connect. Hmm. We could put put a wall here, and put a wall here, and that would connect this to that. I wonder how that would look. Let's try this. Okay, we're gonna have to make sure that she's out of the way. There's that. Now, if I do this, uh, the only way they're gonna be able to get into the house at the moment is to go through the greenhouse. Wait. So, what does this look like when I do this sort of thing? Let's rotate. Interesting. So, do these line up? They do line up. Hmm. I'm not really sure if I like that or not. It makes a little bit of sense. It makes some sense. Let's go down again. Let's bring the walls up. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, it makes some sense in that this would... I just wish that I had the... M how much do you get when you delete one of these? 240. And how much do they cost to buy new? It's like 300, isn't it? Um, Gardening, right? Over here? Where is that? Here it is. Yeah, the 300. So you don't... You lose a lot of money, but you don't lose a ton of money. So we could... We could, I'm like scratching my beard. Uh, we could technically delete the whole thing next time we harvest the plants and move it and put the foyer there. Does that make more sense? I think like aesthetically speaking, it would look better. I know this is like the dumbest thing to be like sitting here going like, I'm having an existential crisis here, sitting here going, like, should I move the thing? I just, it looks really weird over here. 
right? Like, right in front of the house. Like, it feels like it should be back here or something. Like, that's where I should have built it. I should have had the foresight. And, like, this lake is kind of in a dumb place, too, because now the lake is going to be directly in front of the foyer. I can't believe I'm sitting here staring at this thing going, I don't know what to do. Well, we if we put the foyer there, we definitely have to move the little pond. If we move the entire greenhouse, then the pond could stay where it is, and we could put the foyer here. And that would make more sense for, like, walking into the foyer into the living room. Walking into a foyer that enters the kitchen. Hmm. It's not terrible. I mean, I, I think that there's houses in the world that do that. I've probably lived in one of them. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it makes sense to d delete and move this entire thing. As stupid as, as it looks, I think we should leave it. I think we'll go with this arrangement, with this foyer, and this l uh, this hallway makes okay sense. If you hate it, we can always change it. So leave leave your leave your ideas in the in the in the comments of this video. Let's put a front door on this. I mean, it's just it's a, if we change it, it's a bit of a waste of money if we don't keep what we're doing right now. Let's put this door here just so that they can use it. Uh, let's m oops. Let's move these windows. I'm not gonna put all the paint work on yet. Uh, let's see. Let's take out this door. Or this wall. Uh, there we go. Take that out. So now they can walk from here into there. And let's put an arch leading into the kitchen. And uh, I won't even buy lights yet. So next episode. And I I'm going to record this one in a way that should maybe let me. You guys can comment on it. And then I'll actually see the comments. Uh. I can't leave it just like it is. But yeah, basically just, just comment on it and let, let me know what you think. Uh, should we go with the same kind of wood that we've already got? Er, okay, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna wait. And we can, we can decide if we want to put the foyer here or if we want to move it. You let me know what we should do. I think that, let's see, how would that look? Uh, you know what though, the... <laughs> He's like, Bleh. it's horrible. Uh, right now, this house, this room doesn't have a roof. Hmm. Yeah, so that's not good. Let's quickly fix the roof. If we delete it later, that's fine. Oops, that's not what I want to do. But right now, it doesn't make sense. Okay, wait a second. Why isn't it putting a roof... Oh, is it because it's connected to the greenhouse? It won't put a roof on it? <gasps> that could be an issue. Wait a second. Hmm. Or is there... Because this... Does it not recognize this wall as part of the house? Can we put a wall alongside this one? This is such a stupid thing to be, like, fussing about. Nope, we can't do that. Now we could probably delete those and put in a wall, or we could do something like this, right? Would that, let, let's just see if that would let us put in a roof. Um, let's go back to the roof tool. Yes. Okay. So that will let that'll fix the problem. Uh, we've still got this weird gap, though. Do any of these fix that weird gap issue? No. 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 Hmm. Don't like that weird gap. That might be the 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 thing that it decides it all. If we can't fix that, then. What else could we do? We could replace the wall, is the, the other thing that we could do. So we could replace the entire greenhouse wall. This entire green wall, our, our glass wall. I don't know if that'll affect the plants. I've never tried to attach my greenhouse to my actual house. 
Okay, I'm not gonna fuss with it too much. You guys decide what I should do. Uh, leave leave a comment in the video what I should do and I mean I guess that is the entire episode of me standing here staring at this plan and not knowing what to do I feel <laughs> really sorry about that uh, I I didn't mean for it to turn into Vaughn stares at oh no oh no wait what happened did Charles just die ah! wait 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 how did that happen I didn't realize he was that old oh no Sim City Insurance Company is here for you in your time of loss. Let our stacks of simoleons ease your pain. Charles' insurance policy benefited four people, including Spoon got $4,900. Charles' friend, Pumpkin friend, <laughs> Pumpkin got 198 Charles' child, child, Penny got 2450 And Charles' grandchild, Lamp, got 516 Oh, man. I... Wow. That's what I get while I'm designing houses. My Sims start dying. I did not... I guess she's platinum and he wasn't. I will have to review that footage. What a way to end the episode. Well, <laughs> the dog is just like, I'm so sad. Oh, poor puppy. Thank you guys for watching. As always, my name is Vaughn, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.